For days, most of Abilene, Texas was without a water supply, but once again, the Neighbors Helping Neighbors motto of Texas helped change their lives. Miriam Chamberlain met a group of men making a difference. For workers like Chris Taylor, providing water in freezing weather can lead to some complications. Because in about 30, 45, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, it'll freeze up in our trailers. And that's exactly what happened when trying to get water to a warming shelter in this historic winter blast. An improvised human chain was formed using buckets in efforts to still fulfill the need of receiving clean water. There's a lot of people that need help, and um, I think just anything that we could do to, uh, to make it you know, easier during these hard times would be great. In spite of certain barriers, Dunnegan Transportation that Chris works for has provided gallons of water to local warming stations and Compass Health and even Hendricks Medical Center. For the past 48 hours, the transportation company has been working nonstop around the clock, traveling and delivering fresh water from their own trucks. Taylor has been willingly working despite being left without water in his own home. We don't have any water and water right now that I know of. Of course, I haven't been home in three days. I know my wife and my, my kid, my daughter, is they're doing good. So that's, that's what kept me going here. These trucks are filled with gallons of water transmitted through a hose that's then released into buckets and boilers. I almost think of them as first responders. And they are doing it with only a crew of less than a dozen, including Zach Vassar, who has also been out in the cold helping. As to, you know, who, who, everybody just lending a hand. And, and not, not just the company that we represent. There's plenty. You, can, you could probably take this camera to 100 different places if you wanted to, but uh, they've been willing, and I think that's what's most important.